Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Alex. In uh, today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, book flipping, retail arbitrage, how I'm actually doing now close to 2,000 every single week. I've sold hundreds of books thus far, about 100 books every single week. So in this video, I'm going to show you, give you a glimpse of what that is like. I'm going to give you some pointers, uh, introduce you to this if you're not aware of what it's like to do retail arbitrage for books. Uh, if you if you look at my channel, if you're new to me, you will see that I sell books. I publish books on Amazon. I've done that for many years, but we have just gotten into retail arbitrage, selling books on Amazon for retail arbitrage. So it's a fantastic business. There's nothing to sell here in this video, so sit tight, relax. Let me introduce you to this topic, uh, and I believe you're going to find a lot of value in it. Let's get into it. All right, so what is retail arbitrage when it comes to selling books? I know many of you, some of you have probably heard of FBA because it's been around for a while now. It's, and most people think it's oversaturated. Um, but let me be specific as to, because just like in everything else, if you niche down and you specialize in something, you usually become more efficient, you become better at it uh, if, if you dedicate your, your focus to it. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is book arbitrage using FBA, which means fulfilled by Amazon. I'm going to give you just a quick scope of what I do, how I do it, and then show you the type of profits that this type of business has. Based on the experience that I have so far, FBA, you know, doing arbitrage in you know, uh, Walmart, Lowe's, Marshalls, all those stores are, are, are fine, but they tend to be oversaturated in terms of what people are promoting. And there's a very big barrier of entry to doing that because most of those brand products, the best products are gated. But when it comes to book arbitrage, you know, it's like a nice kept secret, just like my publishing business is like a nice kept secret. Nobody uh, you know the the masses are not there yet so there's not as much competition so let me show you basically how this goes at goodwills i've uh, i have trained my mother to do this and she sources at least 100 books per week so i'm going to go pick her up take her to the goodwill goodwill in this section of town every Wednesday they give 20% off and in addition to that we don't pay taxes because we have a reseller certificate so if we spend a hundred dollars on books minus 20% that's $80 uh, Wednesdays is a very good strategy for you to pick up discounted books at Goodwills or if they have a, you know a, a special in where in the area where you live then it would be a very good idea to utilize that on top of the uh, not having to pay taxes. So in this video again, I'm gonna show you how she scans the books while at the bookstore and she easily picks up 100 books per week, uh, most, most of the time just in one store, two or three hours. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so we're at Goodwill. This is my mom. She's actually scanning. There's her phone, her iPhone. She's going through the books. She's just scanning the bar, the ISBN number, and it tells her if the book is profitable or not. Uh, I've taken her, I've trained her. She has scanned thousands of books at this point. She's very good at it. She could fill up one or two cards going by herself. This is her, just about to find a good book here. There it is in green at the bottom. She puts it in the cart and we have all the criteria as to what's profitable and what's so not. It's been about 30 minutes so far. This is a cart full. I would say there's at least over $200 in profit along this cart right here. And maybe a hundred and change, 150. Uh, these uh, cookbooks are very profitable. Uh, the big ones, the one with the picture is very profitable. Only 30 minutes here. Okay, 30, got here at six. It's uh, about 640, close to 40 minutes. And we have over 300 and something dollars. Look at my videos this week. I'm gonna post for this week how much I shipped over to Amazon, but this is gonna be included in there. Uh, and this is how it's done, guys. So here we are leaving the uh, Goodwill. We got two full carts. We have about $300, $400 in profits, maybe 
uh, an hour and a half worth of work. It was between the two of us, so it's a lot faster, obviously. But we will show you here in this video what a typical week of sourcing is like for us and how we are doing this automatically. All right, so now you got to see what sourcing is like. And what I've done, my business model is just to buy books out of Goodwill, Salvation Army. Uh, there's a lot of other strategies you can use to get books, but I have the money to buy it. It's the most convenient way to do it. There's tons of Goodwill, so this is a business model that works for me. Now, as of now, I don't source much, but now I have people sourcing for me. So you're gonna see here that I get these bags, these, these shipments. My mom is one of my sourcers. Um, and these books, you know, they, they give them to Goodwill for free. So it makes total sense that you're gonna have a replenishing stock of books to buy and resell for a profit. So let me show you quickly uh, what happens next once we get these books, how we box them, and then we ship them off. And then I'm gonna show you the profits as they're becoming very consistent. All right, so you can see all the boxes that are already filled. Here are the books that we're processing, and here is Wally uh, inputting in each book. Wally's part of the team. He is a lister, meaning that he lists our products for shipment, and he gets these boxes uh, out to Amazon. So here we go. Walk us through it, Wally. Walk us through it, what you're doing. And I just plugged in the ISBN number with the scanner. Yep. I checked, there was two books the same. You don't want to use the letter with the B in front, whatever. So the book came up. I checked for the name Home Coffee Roasting. Yep. Home Coffee Roasting, we got the right book. Now I want to check for the profile, how it looks inside to make sure there's no marks. And then they would delete it from a like new to a very good to, a, to acceptable. And right now, it's like new. So the first okay. thing I do is go down here and hit like LN, like new. And then, the ranking is 503,000 and 41 a quarter, which is pretty good. Amazon's at 2199. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in at 21. It's selling pretty good. And we make $9.11. How much does it cost of the book? $1.99. Profit? You're gonna be about $18. Oh, uh, more than that. No, profit, our profit is what? Nine dollars and eleven cents. Exactly. Take it. Take it. Let's print the label. Put it on it. Yep. Ready to go. Excellent. All right. So what you can see here is that while he's packing up these boxes, we fit about anywhere between thirty-two to forty books within a box. The weight is usually between thirty-five to forty pounds. Uh, my goal has been to ship to Amazon warehouses 300 books per week uh, over a thousand per month i'm selling you know about 400 now per month uh over 10 books per day doing over 200 dollars per day in sales so this is the this is the process uh an overview of the scope of what it takes the sourcing the boxing the shipping over to amazon you could do this by yourself obviously i did this by myself at the very beginning i sourced i shipped i did everything now i'm training people to do to take those roles uh, so I could make this business where I could run it by managing and growing it in different areas but this is something you could do I'm gonna show you next you know the best part how many books <clears throat> am I, I'm shipping every single week the profits in each box so you have an idea of the scope if you want to do this if you want to make an extra thousand per month an extra thousand per week an extra thousand per day how many boxes you have to ship how many books you have to find and that's how I reverse engineer and build this type of volume let me show you that next all right guys let's get into the numbers let's look at the numbers that's one of the most important parts here uh, I've given you a scope of the business obviously uh, there's a lot more details but this is not a full tutorial this is not a, a course this is to introduce you to book arbitrage for FBA which I believe is underrated undiscovered by most people and it's better because you're not gated in uh, so many categories like you are for retail arbitrage. You may be gated for certain publishing companies, uh, for example, like Penguin or, or Harper, uh, but that's, those are very few in between. Uh, this is actually a low barrier to entry. You could make your first paycheck here in six weeks 
that's how long Amazon is going to take to hold reserves for things to happen. That's how long it took for me. All right, so here you're looking at Acceler List. This is a platform that I use. I pay a monthly uh, uh, subscription for this platform. And basically what I do is when you saw Wally scanning in the books, he's scanning it onto this platform. Uh, this platform sends the information over to uh, Amazon Seller Central, and then they tell us where to ship the boxes to. All right, so let's go over the numbers. Let's look at July because that's what this video is about. This video is about uh, oh, close to 2,000 in profits for one week, but let's look at July as, as, as an entirety. So again, this is Acceler List, and what you're looking on the screen here are all the boxes that I've sent for July. So let's go to the beginning of July. Beginning July 3rd, uh, the way I've set it up, I, I say the day of the, of the week that I created the shipment, which is Saturday. I was the one who did it. And as you can see, it's been, been me for most of the part. And I just did one box on July 3rd. So that box, if you look over to the right, had 33 books in it, All right. So let's go over July and I wanna show you a couple of things. The way I've, the way I'm doing it, like I said, I have goals and I want to ship so many profitable books over uh, to Amazon for sale. So I run my FBA calendar from Google and this calendar shows you the profits I've sent in. So on July 3rd, that one box that you saw had profits of $240. July 4th, I sent a couple of boxes in for $654. That's profit, that's after cost, that's after I've paid for the books. This is pure profit. Of course, there's a little bit of fees for the box, the tape, and all that, but this is not accounting 101. We're not gonna get to that into it just to give you an idea, just to give myself an idea of the amount of profits that I'm sending in on a weekly, on a daily basis. So this keeps me focused on what I'm doing, what my business is doing. So for the month of July, if you could look all the way down here, I shipped as of July 30th, I shipped shy of eight thousand dollars in profit so at some point i'm going to make close to eight thousand dollars for uh, most of these books and as you can see uh that I, my other videos or what i'm showing you that i'm having sales every single day there's no reason why i'm not going to sell most of these books or all of them uh so let's look at the thumbnail today's thumbnail i was just focused on when i created that thumbnail many many days ago uh i was working this week here this third week of July, uh, from the 19th over to the 23rd. If you look at each shipment, I sent boxes in Monday through Friday. That totals up to about $1,900, 1948 to be exact. I had days of 400, 300, close to 200, 500, and 520. So let's look at uh, some of those days inside Accelerus so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's look at July 22nd. July 22nd and July 23rd. So let's go back to Acceler List and let's look at our shipments here for July 23rd and July 22nd. It looks like I sent two boxes in the 22nd and two boxes on the 23rd. Uh, Wally did the two on the 23rd, so let's, let's look at his boxes first. Box number one, as you can see here, that box was a net profitable at 229. So let me go over this data with you so you have an idea how real this is. 32 books, I spent, in those 32 books, I spent $88.80. After recovering my cost for the books, if I were to sell all these 32 books, I will have a profit, a net profit of 229. So tell me that is not a great return on investment. Let's look at this even closer. These are all the books, all of the 32 books are listed right here. So let's just go over one or two so you have an idea what this platform does and how uh, we do this. So let's take this very first book. This is a novel. This book, uh, this book uh, cost, cost us uh, $1.60. It was from Goodwill, the GW. Uh, and we put it for sale for $13. This is on the SKU number up here that I'm talking about so um, 160 cost the supplier was goodwill the rank was only 45,000 and we put it for sale for $13 now you can see where you recover your cost and you still have a lot of margin 
for Amazon to take their cut and for you to net your uh, your profit. The next book, the same thing. The next book cost a dollar sixty and had uh, a rank, a sales rank of four hundred thousand. We put it for sale for nineteen dollars right here. Again, a dollar sixty leaves us a lot of margin to recover our cost and for Amazon to take their cost and for it to, for it to leave a healthy profit. This is how you go from paying $88 in cost and obtaining over 200 in net profit because the profit margins are so good. So you just want to send as many books as possible because this turns out to be a great return on investment. Let's take a look at this one down here. Patriot Games, right? Tom Clancy, this is a uh, I'm sure some of you watching this will recognize this author in this book, and I think maybe this was even a movie. But the cost of this book was $3.20. This was from Goodwill. We put it for sale for $45. So there you go. All right, so basically I tried to send, like I said, I tried to send X amount per week, X amount per month. I tried to hit a goal of 8,000 in profits for the month of July and we will continue to scale that we'll continue to to you know do what we have to do to get to those numbers this is something that you can do this is something that anybody could do just for extra money for an extra 100 per week 200 per week whatever you decide to to do what whatever you decide your goals are going to be you could plan accordingly you could go out uh one to two hours on the weekends to a goodwill and create one or two boxes and you know one or two boxes are going to be about four hundred dollars profitable to you uh, per week if you wanted to do something like that if you found value in this guys go ahead and uh, you can subscribe to the channel you could smash my like button drop me a comment if you found value in this uh, i'm going to be creating a facebook group to help people do this uh, just because i think this is a very easy way to make money on the side i mean it doesn't get any easier than this uh, the two biggest things you're going to have to learn is just how to buy books that you know that are going to sell uh, and I know, I know how to do that very well from my experience with my publishing business uh, and selling books on Amazon already so I think I have an advantage when it comes to that but other than that anybody could do this and I hope to see you guys uh, in my uh, YouTube channel and uh, if you have any questions go ahead and email me I'll see you in the next one